Hello YouTube and welcome back to another recipe video by me. In this one I'm going to be making what is every vegan YouTuber's favourite thing, which is vegan mac and cheese. Oh yes, vegan mac and cheese. This is so good. Like I've had mac and cheese out before, I've tried a shop bought version of vegan mac and cheese and they just weren't that great, but this is really nice. Me. I never used to have mac and cheese before. I never had it non-vegan really. Um, but now there's just something so comforting and satisfying about eating a three carb meal. Yeah, let's get on with making this video. The written recipe will be below the table. And yeah, I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> the recipe that I normally make does use sweet potato in it. Um, it kind of, as you can either microwave it or steam it or something like that and then you just blend it up with the sauce. I don't have any sweet potato right now, and I could have gone out and bought some, but I kind of wanted to make this on the on the cheap uh, side, and also show that you can make it without sweet potato and it's still really good. So, yeah, let's, let, let's just make this. <laughs> I've got the oven preheating at the moment to 180. Um, I've got some pasta boiling away, and so now I just need to make the cheese sauce to go on it. It's so quick and it's so easy. Anyone could do it. So yeah, let me just go over to my stove. Okay, so to start with, I want to apologise profusely for the lighting. For some reason it's decided to be a really nice day outside. I've got everything covered. I've got the curtains closed. Blankets up over the curtains, but it's not helping the fact that my face is now completely white. But anyway, we're gonna work with them. So I've got my pasta, that's actually just finished cooking here. I've got a small saucepan that's got 30 grams of dairy-free butter, so I'm just gonna melt that. And then when that's melted to that, I'm going to add 30 grams of plain flour, whisk that together to make a roux, and then slowly add 300 ml of non-dairy milk. And then all of the flavoring, flavorings? And all of the herbs and stuff to go in it as well. Okay, so the butter's fully melted now, so I'm just going to add in the flour all at once and then whisk it together. So that has immediately formed a dough-like consistency. So then what you do next is just pour in the milk a little bit at a time, keep whisking it to um, get it all incorporated without having any lumps. It'll form like a slightly looser paste as you go along, up until the point when you then add that little bit more milk which forms it into a sauce. This is just on quite a low heat by the way. Before you add in too much milk, just make sure you check around the um, check around the size of the saucepan so, so there's no none of the flour butter mixture stuck to the bottom. Um, and yeah, just make sure you mix that in. Okay, so that's all the milk added. We're just gonna turn up the heat a bit, let it start to come to a simmer. Um, and then we're going to add in the rest of the ingredients. I've got 20 grams of nutritional yeast here. It's a lot and it looks like a lot and it's slightly painful to put it all in, but it's what makes it taste really good. So you've kind of just gotta suck it up and do it. And then I've also got all of the herbs and spices. So I've got half a teaspoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of oregano, half a teaspoon of tart, no, half a teaspoon of rosemary, salt and pepper, and then I've got like a pinch, maybe like an eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, cloves, and nutmeg. Maybe slightly less than an eighth of a teaspoon of cloves, just a pinch. A pinch. Okay, so that's now starting to simmer, so I'm just going to keep whisking it, add in the nutritional yeast and spices. And it's starting to bubble quite a lot now, so I'm just going to turn it down a little bit, add in the nutritional yeast. Should have used a big pan. And it does look like it's quite liquidy, but then when you add in the nutritional yeast and when it starts to bubble a lot, it gets a lot thicker. Okay, so that's fully done now. I've just turned the heat off and I've drained my pasta. I'm just going to add it into the pasta and stir it in. It looks and smells 
smells just so good. I mean, it looks beige, but all the best foods are beige. We all know this. Got my mac and cheese all done here. Um, you can add some peas into this if you want to. That's really good. Um, I'm just gonna have to have this with something green. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put it into this oven proof dish. And this will serve, so excuse me. <laughs> this will serve um, two to three people. All right, I'll probably end up having it for dinner and a couple of lunches, because I ain't sharing. Make sure you get all the sauce out. Then if you want to, you can add some grated vegan cheese on this. I'm going to sprinkle on some breadcrumbs. Um, I've got some that I just bought at one point because I don't have any bread to um, breadcrumb. So yeah, I'm just going to sprinkle a bit of this on top. And then just sprinkle on a little bit of vegetable oil to make it nice and crispy on top. Just, just a very tiny. Okay, so we're gonna bake this. Excuse me. We're gonna bake this at 180 for about 20 minutes. This is my vegan mac and cheese recipe. I really hope you enjoy it. I really hope you try it. Yeah, I'm just gonna try this now because it smells so good. And you know, mac and cheese at half ten in the morning. I'm down with that. I love these like oh, I love these like crispy bits of pasta on the side. Gonna be my breakfast now, maybe. Hmm. Okay, no, dinner, dinner. See ya. Thanks again for watching. Hope you have a great day. See you next time. Bye. I can't stop looking. <laughs>